ama siku shushwa hadhi badala yake nilipandishwa cheo na kupewa majukumu mengi katika utawala wa Kenya kwanza ndio kauli ya waziri wa utumishi wa umma Moses Kuria kuhusiana na mabadiliko yaliyofanywa kwenye baraza la mawaziri na rais William Ruto mwandishi wetu mwandamizi wa masuala ya kisiasa Krista Iru alipata nafasi ya kuzungumza na waziri huyo kuhusiana na uhusiano wake na rais Ruto naibu rais Tegadhi Gashagwa na rais aliyestaafu Uhuru Kenyatta Akiwa na tajriba kwenye ulengo wa siasa ya zaidi ya miongo miwili sasa waziri wa utumishi wa umma Moses Kuria alibatika kwa mmoja kati ya wakenya wawili waliotolewa na Rais William Ruto kudumu katika baraza la mawaziri ni miongoni mwa waziri ambao waliadhirika kwenye mabadiliko yaliyofanywa na Rais kwenye baraza lake la mawaziri wengi walitafsiri kuwa alikuwa ameshushwa madaraka na majukumu kutokana na misimamo yake mikali haswa kuhusu mataifa ya Ulaya because all this work you know it's sometimes it can be too much even for the president who as you know is very hands on and you know most people who are not part of the original plan development so i am that unfortunate guy who other than the president in the cabinet was most involved of course with Jugun and Dumu, who was a, like me a member of the economic team during the campaign so the president tells me now which part of this plan don't you understand hata hivyo anadhibitisha kuwa alikuwa ametofautiana na balozi wa marekani nchini kenya kuhusu taifa la sudan well, i don't have issues with the west I've, i've worked very well with the european union as i've told you convincing 27 countries within months you know to uh, you know to sign an economic agreement with kenya uh, 27 countries those are western countries you know uh, we had an issue with the american ambassador not with the american government and uh, uh, american ambassador was uh, holding some views which i thought uh, you know she didn't like some of my views especially on the sudan but unfortunately i have been vindicated on on the sudan issue Je, kuna majuto yoyote alipokuwa akiwa waziri wa biashara? I have told my sister uh, uh, CS Rebecca Miano her biggest challenge is really to come up with a proper infrastructure for exports because if we don't export our shilling continues to get battered and we cannot really see that we can come out of uh, uh, current economic recession get into recovery create jobs unless we have we are very deliberate on exports the way i was very deliberate on industrialization usiano wake na naibu wa rais regarding gashagwa saa baada ya madai kuwa alikuwa umetofautiana na kisiasa the deputy president has got the interest of most kenya people at heart and so do i have the interest of the most kenya people at heart and i have the interest of the kenya kwanza government at heart so there cannot be a distinction neither at national level nor at uh, at uh, what do you call it at at, at a regional level so that, that cannot be a, 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 an argument um I, I think people are reading too much i am not under attack from anyone uh it is good to be supported but i have got no threats or knowledge to be to be saved from to be supported from hata hivyo na swala moja tu kuhusu rais mstaafu huru kinyata ambaye pia alikuwa mlezi wake wa kisiasa no grudges zero grudges no at least not from me not from me i have only one grudge one which is really a question when i see him and ask him that question uh, something to do with bombers of kenya uh, during the vote tallying uh, because i believe that that is the closest i've ever come to death are the bombers of kenya during the vote tally what, what, what do you mean? no because of the the way he allowed the country to you know he, he, you know descend into what could have been catastrophic had uh, some people done what was asked of them to do and had god not been on our side we could have been talking about a different story and given the amount of work me and Uru Kenyatta did post 207 208 you know uh, when the country decided into an abyss i could not fathom or understand how Uru Kenyatta with whom we saw the country decide 207 208 could allow the country close to that kind of you know you know an abyss you know you know it is really that's a, it is the only thing that bothers me the rest we can live with the rest we will repair and I'm sure that once maybe I hear his side of story in terms of what happened at Bomas, maybe we'll forgive each other for finally and, and, and move together in the future as the brothers, the brothers and friends that we really are. Do you still be vying for the Kambu gubernatorial seat? Never. How can I leave this state called Kenya for Kambu again? I present myself to Kambu people. And they, they were very generous with 24,000 votes. 
Out of uh, votation of 1.2 million, 1.3 million just are voters. You are grateful for that. I, I sold my manifesto to them. Most of the things I did in trade, they were also in my manifesto for, because, you know, I was part of both manifestos, national and my own for Kiambu people. But now I have a fantastic opportunity to drive change for not just Kiambu people, Kiambu plus plus and other people of this country. So, you know, life does not go like